Yo, what's happening everyone? It's your boy here, the Rahim back again with another great amazing graphics tutorial well i thought that i should just talk about logo design physics now there's a physics behind every type of logo you see outside it might be a brand logo it might be a corporate logo it might be a portfolio logo it might be your own head logo but what it means is just that there's a physics behind it now i don't mean like designer is the one who selects the key way of how he can design but i'm talking about the low not only the low but i'm talking about the physics of how the logo you can design it may make your workflow become so simplicity compared to just a normal plain workspace now i'm talking about a grid here now we're gonna design some grid only one single grid now i won't take a bunch of your time but only one single grid but if you think like you want to skip this video there's a link down below which can take you to the illustrator file which i've already done it, everything you can just download it and use it on your workspace or logo it's, it's gonna be great so yeah so let's get started so we're inside illustrator first thing first to get loaded is creating a new file now i would like just to create a new file then i think a3 is much better and i'm going to use points points is much better so after that click create and um, our workspace will be created then uh, next thing we're gonna just uh, use square now square or rectangle i think rectangle is the best now let us just drag drop our rectangle up to there now make sure that we are using only stroke no no fill no fill at all we're going to use only stroke now after that let us just uh, uh grab the ellipse then at the center here at the center let's find that's our center so i'm going to click here then selecting ellipse then at the center hold shift plus r to get the actual size so as it can fit throughout the rectangle you know the main point is to fit inside the rectangle now the other thing which follows is just that we need to create some line now what i love about illustrator you click once you just click once and you drag while holding shift you get a precise point and from this side same click shift while hold it you get a precise point this is so good this is epic this is next level thing so another kind of stuff let us just uh, use um still we're going to use the line so let me just go at the center here and drag my line up to there so yeah then here let's just drag our line up to here then after that let's take another rectangle which is from here now we're going to create a rectangle from this side up to somewhere here which is great now when you're done don't worry about that we are almost getting there now our grid you can see it's looking so good great and uh, i'm going to click shift and click this path and this path and we're going to do some offset now go to object path then find offset path then you can see we have line point then click preview now we need 50 line points which is important now 50 line points it's the most important way if yours is 10 you might find yours is 10 don't worry you just keep it 50 50 points because what it does it give us points between downwards and frontward which means it's height and width then uh, click ok then we have our points there you can see it looking so nice now i'm going to use ellipse and keep it at the center somewhere there and we're going to create ellipse our ellipse is going to be up to somewhere here boom up to somewhere there now as you can see our shape is almost done let me just use ellipse again i'm going to create the last ellipse at the center here now we're going to just do this way boom now as you can see guys we're done with our logo shape we can extend it so as you can see what's going on now what's behind this is just that it's going to help you out designing icons logos a lot of stuff it's a really real time server now i'm gonna group everything then here we have it voila this is it. voila voila yeah so after that we're gonna lock it and so as some of you guys can see 
what's happening because some of you might be lost somewhere what's going on now if i hold shift and drag my shape if i want it to be somewhere here now this is gonna guide me and uh, give me that kind of precision so if i want to create another shape or i have to put this shape on stroke then i'm gonna extend stroke points up to here then i'm just showing you an example how this kind of stuff works so i'll keep it somewhere here on the grid now after that fill this then find our shape we fill it then change the color perhaps we change it to that kind of color highlight everything then take shape builder then just boom remove this shape then you can see we have a clean looking rounded shape with the stuff at the inside now what's next we can extend our shape up to here and just extend it then we can take a, we can take a pen tool then we slice it and slice it up to here then we can fill it and uh, we're gonna change some color so the same thing we did just change the color and uh, this one we change the color so they're all the same highlight everything then go to shape builder uh, hold alt to minus then just swipe swipe to unlock then voila we have our logo there that's looking good now you can select our logo we can keep it aside so as some of you guys can see or you can come up all the way to the layer panel and uh, we're gonna unhide this you can see we created a good and amazing shape in a precise way so i hope this kind of stuff will help you out throughout different kind of perspective throughout your designs so thank you guys for watching if you love this video of today make sure that you hit that thumbs up and stay tuned for the review of the poco phone f1 i'm so excited and i can't wait just to publish the video i'm finishing up i'm winding up some stuff then and, and uh, you can hear my voice it's like off the hook it's because of the weather don't worry about that i'm doing good alhamdulillah and another kind of stuff I will catch you guys on the next one as always stay sharp and creative and peace and don't forget to subscribe you know yeah that's that's our key point of our channel so yeah peace